Hello, I'm Simon Whistler. You're watching the Today I Found Out YouTube channel, and in the video today, we're looking at why Dalmatians are the traditional dog of choice at fire stations. One of the most effective firefighting tools in the mid-18th century was the steam pumper, a machine that consisted of a boiler which was able to use steam to force water out of hoses and onto a fire. The fire brigade's horse-drawn carriages loaded with the machine would be hitched up and the vehicle would tear off down the road. When firefighters were racing off to fight the flames, they didn't have time to slow down for all the pedestrians using the road, which is where the Dalmatians came in. Besides being known for forming strong bonds with horses, in the early 1700s, it was observed that Dalmatians were perfectly suited for traveling long distances. As stated by the Dalmatian Club of America, the English at this time felt that Dalmatians had the strength, vitality, fortitude, and size to keep running along under the carriage for hundreds of miles. When the travelers rested for the night, the dogs were also useful for standing guard over the horses and the people's belongings. It soon became popular among English aristocrats to have Dalmatians run alongside their carriages, and the dogs even became something of a symbol of social status. The more you had running alongside your carriage, the wealthier you were. This brings us back to the Dalmatians and the horse-drawn fire carriages. Because of the dog's reputation and long-standing practice of using them this way, they were the dog of choice for running along with fire carriages. With their strength and stamina, they typically didn't have any trouble keeping up with the carriages, even when the carriages were flying down the roads at high speeds. The Dalmatians would scare away anything that might spook the horses, as well as serve as the first siren, with the Dalmatians' bark alerting pedestrians on the road that the fire brigade was on its way and to move off the street. While the firemen unloaded their equipment and rushed off to put the fire out, their trusty Dalmatians would stay with the cart, keeping the horses calm and guarding the firemen's belongings. Not only that, but once they were back at the firehouse, the Dalmatians were often trained to sniff out rats and other vermin. When the much more efficient motorized fire trucks were created, there were no longer horses for Dalmatians to keep company, and no need for them to run ahead of the trucks to alert people that the fire brigade was coming. There were sirens for that now. Their usefulness spent Dalmatians might have vanished from fire stations altogether. Instead, they turned into fire station mascots, particularly popular when firefighters go around teaching kids about fire safety. Of course, at this point, any dog could be used, and sometimes that's the case, but given the long-standing tradition of using Dalmatians, it seems likely they will remain the dog of choice at many fire stations for the foreseeable future. Bonus fact. A common myth is that Dalmatians were originally kept in fire firehouses because, unlike other breeds, the loud sound of the sirens wouldn't hurt their ears. While it is true the Dalmatians are predisposed to deafness, only about 70% have normal hearing, they were originally around to partially function as a siren as stated, so their hearing wasn't really a factor. So I really hope you found that video interesting. If you did, please do hit that thumbs up button below and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Also, if you've got a why question like this that you would like us to answer, do let us know in the comments below. Also, if you see a comment with a question that you would like us to answer, give it a thumbs up because those will rise to the top and we are more likely to take a look at those and make them. So go ahead and leave us a comment. Also, over there on the right, a couple of other videos you might enjoy if you enjoyed this one. And thank you for watching.